everyone. I'm Frank Malicote. I work for KTVU Fox 2 here in the San Francisco Bay Area. My guest is the owner of Daryl Leffler's Music Academy down in San Jose. He has hundreds of students all adapting to lessons online. No more in person, that's for sure. And he is about to pull off a global recital that likely never would have happened if it weren't for COVID-19. So without further ado, let's say hi to the maestro and a good friend, Daryl Leffler. Hey, Daryl, how are you? Hey, Frank, how are you? Good seeing you today. You're looking good, and I sure like how your house is arranged. My, my wife compliments it every time we see you on TV. <laughs> well, I like the bow tie, Maestro. That is, uh, that is perfect uh, <laughs> for what you're about to do. Tell us, tell us how, how many students you have and how your music academy uh, on May 1st kind of had to flip the switch and, and make a big change. Well, uh, up to the COVID-19, until we had the shutdown, we had close to 400 students because we do not only, I have two music schools and then we do after school programs. But then once the COVID-19 happened, of course, like everything else, everything shut down. And we probably lost maybe about 35, 40% of our clientele. So that dropped off uh, quite a bit. And so, so, but you know, right now, presently, now that, now that the families are getting a little more comfortable with the way things are, we're starting to build that clientele up. But it, you know, like everybody else, we, we took a hit. Took a hit. Well, let me ask you, is it, is it easier to learn an instrument online or is it more difficult for the kids because you're, you don't have that, you know, that physical presence there? Well, it, it was a challenge, uh, you know, because especially an old, old goat like me, been doing this for, you know, 35 years, you, you get set in your own ways. And then when a new, uh, technology is thrown in your lap you don't even have a choice to do it it's just thrown in your lap you have to adapt and so it took a little while for me and I'm really proud of my staff you know my staff are a little younger they're a little more tech savvy than I am but they adapted it really well and they went really well so you know so we started going we took a break uh, and then we started doing online lessons again in May and so we've had some time to practice on it and so one of the advantages I found is is that uh, the kids are, are focused a little more because they don't have classmates that's distracting them. And, you know, it, it's just, uh, and then another thing I found out is we spend a little more one-on-one -on -one time with each child because we are basically going to house, you know, whether, whether it's the kitchen or the living room, we go to their house and we spend that little time so we can just talk and be a little more personable. So those are the good advantages of what's come out of this. Uh, the disadvantage is, is we don't have that classroom banter, you know, when the kids joke and, you know, there's, each class has its own chemistry and it has its own own uh, uh, banter say, where, you know, they get along. And so that's the thing that's missing that uh, for not only the kids, but also for me, because I miss that. So, uh, but we've, we've, we've been able to get through that. Yeah, well, um, it may be here to stay, but it also has opened the door for students all over the country and now all over the world to take classes with you. My gosh, that that is what really is one of the things, one another benefit that comes. You always you always want to make uh, good things out of something that's bad, and this is a, a one of those instances where now our walls are no longer uh, confined to Milpitas and, and San Jose. Uh, now the walls are down, and so now we've reached out to children. We're, we're teaching children in uh, Georgia, Florida. And uh, uh, what's the other one? Uh, it was Texas. So we got those three states that now we're teaching kids over there. And that would have never happened unless we got motivated and created this online way of teaching. And so, so our next goal is we want to reach the children now in India. And so, so we're, we really want to go global with this thing. And so uh, that's, that's one of the ideas I had sitting around being sheltered, doing nothing and feeling sorry for myself. I came up with some good ideas. <laughs> Well, apparently it's it's all worked out because you have a big global recital coming up on October the 25th uh, with some students that live and play in India. Tell us about that. That's exactly right. A lot of our clientele are from India. And the one thing I love about uh, their culture is is music is very important to the upbringing of their children. And uh, and so, uh, you know, it's, it's, it was like that way. You know, I, I have a, a Filipino background myself and the Filipino background, they're very musical as well, and, and it's very important as part of their culture, just like a lot of cultures. And so, but we have a, a lot of uh, Indian or uh, people, clients from, from the, that culture. And so what we're going to do is we have planned a recital so their little ones here in America can play for their families 
in India. And so we're preparing right now. And uh, it, it's going to be funny because we have to get up like six in the morning to have this concert. So that way they can see it around six o'clock, seven o'clock their time. And we're having it on a, a, a big festival, uh, Saraswate. Uh, I, I hope I pronounced that right. So, but what it is, it's a big festival. It's a big, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's part of their culture. And it's a big festival where they celebrate the empress of music, education, and learning. And that's why we chose that day because that would be a great day to, to have all the families together. So a lot of these festivals were like, you know, what we have over here, like Thanksgiving. And we all get families together. And uh, that's one of the big festivals that are in India. So that's why we chose that day. So we're real excited. Uh, it, like I said, uh, we've been practicing hard. And, and so, uh, so we're excited to have that. And how, how were you able to get these students plugged into this? Is it relatives of people here in the Bay Area or what? Well, what I did was when I thought of this idea, I sent out a survey to all the families, uh, you know, that I would think would be interested in this program. And the, uh, the, the reaction was overwhelming. Uh, they just thought it was the greatest idea. And it's a good way for them to, you know, let their, their children play for grandma and grandpa or their uncles and aunts over there, you know. And they don't get to see them very much because, you know, they got seas, they got a whole ocean that separates them. And so uh, it's kind of a way to bring these families together. Now, our goal is to start teaching their family members as well in India. So that way, when we get together, we can have recitalists from both sides of the ocean and so that's where we're building and that's where we hope we can do so that way we can have the cousins and uh the cousins and, and friends and family in india playing the same exact recital as their friends and co cousins out here in america so that's my goal and uh that's where we're planning so uh, you know uh, wish me luck on that <laughs> well i'm sure you can pull it off i know uh, i know how good you are and your boys and uh, and your uh, faculty there um does it just kind of blow your mind, Daryl, that uh, in the midst of this COVID-19 that you've made this full pivot and it's actually going to open the door perhaps to more students, not only for your business, but, you know, you can reach into pockets of the world that may never have had an opportunity right, to right. do it. Well, you know, one thing that I, I, I am excited about is like it's a new technology and it's a new idea. And like I mentioned a little earlier, you know, you, you become an old dog at this thing for a while and then it just become routine. And then, you know, here I'm thinking I'm going off in the twilight of my career and I'll probably do the same thing. But now with this new technology and new way of teaching, uh, it's just uh, it's just brought me a whole new excitement about what I do. And who knows, I might not retire as early as I thought. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Well, on that same note, do you think it's here to stay? Do you think online learning, uh, the way you're doing it, it may not work as well for algebra in high school, but for music, maybe it does. I think it does. I really do. I think it's going to, well, you know what? I think it's going to be a little of both. Okay. I think what's nice about our music school and the way we have things set up is, is uh, parents are completely 100% satisfied that they know that, you know, through the online lessons, the, uh, their kids are not going to get sick and the staff is not going to get sick. You know, and oftentimes they bring grandmas and grandpas bring their kids to the classes and they're not going to get sick. So that is the great thing. And so that's why we're able to kind of move on and move ahead and get past all of this. So that's a good thing. And so and so parents are really satisfied and they're really at this moment not in a hurry to get back to the studio, which I don't blame them. Yeah, I, I get it. So, uh, less commute so, time. But eventually, you know, as, you know, we're starting. It, yes, yes, exactly, exactly. So, so that's, you know, that's what's, uh, so, but I think what's going to happen is once we start getting back, we might do what they do in schools where it's kind of grid, where, you know, the parents who do want to be in person can be there and the ones who want to be online can be there. And that's probably, we probably don't have a choice because we need to reduce our class sizes as well. So that's going to, I think it's going to balance out and work out once we cross that bridge. So hopefully we're getting there soon. Well, let's hope so. Uh, if people want to get in touch with you, Daryl, maybe uh, maybe they have kids that want to learn or maybe they want to learn or whatever. How do they do? Well, you know, there's a couple things. You can reach me at lefleracademy.com. That's my website, okay? L-E-F-F-L-E-R, Academy, A-C, well, you know how to spell Academy, Frank. <laughs> <I laughs> lefleracademy.com. <laughs> but 
Also, I have a uh, we we have a Facebook page which kind of gives everybody an update on on what the recital, who the recitalists are, and you can look our Facebook at Daryl Leffler's Academy of Music. And so we just launched a brand new Facebook, and I got a I got a great social media manager, and, and oh, we look professional now. I look like I'm back. I caught up with the times, Frank. <laughs> About time. Come on, slacker. Yeah. <laughs> No. Well, I think what you're doing is great. Uh, we wish you all the best on October the 25th. You're going to have to get up at God's hours that Sunday morning, but all for the good of the cause. Um, Daryl Leffler and his Music Academy at Milpitas in San Jose. Daryl, thanks for uh, sharing hey, a little time with us here. Can I give you uh, one shout out? You can may. give you one shout out? Okay, now, uh, my son, as you know, you, you know, you guys are alumnus over at Cal, and my son, uh, just, you know, as you know, he just graduated from the Haas uh, Business School over there, and it was really, really sad for all of us that, being that this COVID thing hit, he couldn't have a graduation, and, you know, we just couldn't uh, celebrate that, that energy that you have from these milestones, yet, that morning when he graduated, you gave him a shout out, and, and you know that made our day, and that kind of softened the blow and made it it made it a little more more pleasant for us that you you thought about that and uh, gave us a shout out. So Frank, thank you so much. Oh my God, well Jordan is best. Go Bears to him, and uh, my goodness for sure. <laughs> All right, Daryl, we wish you the best. That's Daryl Leffler. I'm Frank Malicote. If you'd like more information, you can also go to newsnowfox.com. Have a great day, everybody. All right, Frank, you too.